Fred Larson here with me. Hello. Fred is a great friend from First Platt Senior School back in the old days. Get back in touch with your old school friends, you know. If, if it is just like going for a beer or a coffee, go bowling. You went bowling with friends. Yeah. <laughs> go bowling every now and again. I was so intrigued. We've started this thing with Brightcube called Start a Revolution from Your Bedroom. Fred, that's what you're doing um, in the field of lacrosse. I started my, my Instagram account after my girlfriend thought that it would be a good idea to kind of show off some, some things I was doing. Brand ambassador for a company out now as well. And so you started from scratch? I guess five years ago now. Five years, okay. When yeah. I started uni, uh -huh. I wanted to test out something new. Just because it looked like a cool sport. Yeah, I, I didn't even know what it was when my, <laughs> my one of my one of the guys I lived with was like, oh, I went to a taste session, it was pretty fun. So okay. a bunch of us went along the next time. Okay. Go. Oh. Smashed it. Full contact, full field sport, 10, 10 v 10. Okay. Play with sticks, like this one, so like metal stick, uh -huh. plastic head with a mesh pocket where the ball goes. Yeah. Ball's about the size of a, a tennis ball. And then, yeah, the objective is to score. Score goals. Score goals. And you can, is there any rules in terms of like, hitting each other and... Yeah, so you're allowed to hit each other with a stick, you're like this. Okay. Your right. hand's gotta be okay. close together. So the first year was a lot of basics, couldn't really catch and throw. Cool, basics, yeah. And then, by the second year, I was like, I could play to like an okay level, but I mean, yeah. it wasn't that good. Yeah. But then I went to America for my year abroad. Ah, yeah. And yeah. Um, I was able to play on the team there. Cool. And obviously the, the sport's a lot bigger in America than it is here. Yeah, yeah. So, kind of got thrown in the deep end. Uh-huh. And we were playing five times a week for the whole year. So when you got back from America, yeah. did people notice the kind of difference and how much better you were playing and your improvement? I think so, yeah. It was a lot in like, my six girls are a lot better like, mm -hmm. than knowing where to go. Sure, sure. Where sure. to be, like the kind of IQ of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Improved a lot. Uh huh. Because you clearly put in the work. It's not just like, I mean, you clearly were naturally gifted, but you had to put in the work to. Yeah, definitely. To get like, there. If you, it's like anything, if you want to be good, you got to put in the time. We feel like we have to have started something since we're 13 or, you know, be a child prodigy and then, yeah. you know, suddenly, oh, we might just make it. But like you said, you can start something that you've never tried before, like lacrosse. Put in the hard work, it will take you places. So you mentioned very briefly that the Swedish national team, mm. you're a full squad member, is that right? Yeah, so I did the trials and then about two months later we went to Budapest for the European Championships. Uh -huh. So I did that, and then now, this summer, is the, the indoor championships. Cool. In, uh, in Finland. Yeah, off to Prague next week. Wow, off to Prague with the Swedish national team playing lacrosse. This is a big... This is a... Nimbus yeah. 3000. It's yeah. Like... A nice Viking hat. Brilliant. Is what we wore <laughs> when we went to Prague last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the opening ceremony. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so my Instagram's at Larson underscore strings. That concludes our time hanging out with Fred, talking about lacrosse. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go.